Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Lab. I'm Jay Appel. As we finish off 2022 with a demonstration on the DLPE bypass. Okay, let's get going and talk to you about the bypass. Over at the client's machine, they're going to go down to the taskbar and select Manage Features and then select the DLP Endpoint Console. Now, when the endpoint console comes up, they're going to click on tasks. And they're going to select the ID code and read it to the help desk provider on the telephone. In this case, it's a four by four alphanumeric sequence. Now, meanwhile, back over at the EPO console, the help desk user is going to select help desk using the EPO menu. They're going to select the client bypass key and then enter the user's name. It could be the username for Microsoft as their AD, or it could be their full name, along with their email address, as we see here. And then the other fields, you can fill those in with additional detail as necessary. Now, down at the bottom, they're going to enter the code provided by the user and then select the generate key. Take that generate key along with how long you want the bypass to be and read the key back over to the user. Now, on the client here, they're going to enter it at the release code and press Bypass. Down in the lower right-hand corner, you'll see we're in Bypass. I'm Jay Appel. Thanks for watching.